Genesee Valley Noise is proud to present the Wide Waters Wide Range Overdrive. We created Wide Waters to reflect our combined love for our city, community, and its history. Isn't that wild how that goes? This is our good friend, Eli Flynn. Eli is a living legend here in the Rochester music scene, hailing from bands such as Giant Panda Gorilla Dub Squad, Upward Groove, and most recently, his own endeavor as a solo artist. Eli just released his solo album titled Running With Scissors, streaming and available for purchase on most platforms. That works. It's, it's weird shit. Wide Waters Overdrive features quarter-inch input and output jacks at the top of the unit, as well as a 2.1 mm barrel jack required for powering the unit. The controls for Wide Waters are simple and straightforward. Vol controls the level of volume output. Gain controls the amount of overdrive. And Tone controls the amount of treble or high frequencies the pedal produces.
Before it was rerouted around the city, the Erie Canal once went straight through the heart of Rochester. If you're from Rochester, you likely already know the impact the Erie Canal had on our community. If you're not, I'll summarize it as best I can. In short, the Erie Canal led to the rapid growth and success of both Rochester and New York State as a whole. The artwork on Wide Waters is an artist's rendition of Erie Canal Lock 66 at Monroe Avenue. Lock 66 was an advanced lock for its time. Its two-door, double-lock system allowed for boats traveling in opposite directions to pass on both sides simultaneously. We did extensive research on Lock 66 to make the artwork as accurate as possible to what it once was. The name Wide Waters is also a reference to the Erie Canal in Rochester as Lock 66 was once the western entrance and exit to the eastern Widewaters portion of the Erie Canal. We'd like to thank the Rochester Public Library and ErieCanal.org for maintaining and providing the accurate archival photographs of Lock 66 that we used to create the artwork.